Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I am Dr. Muhammad Mehtab Alam and I am going to explain the steps of hypothesis testing when a standard deviation is unknown or you can say when you have very a small sample size. So just try to focus on this hypothetical example. The US farmer production company build large harvesters. For a harvester to be properly balanced when operating a 25 pound plate is installed on its side. The machine that produces these plates is said to yield plate that average 25 pounds. The distribution of plate produced from the machine is normal. However, the shop supervisor is worried that the machine is out of adjustment and is purchasing plates that do not average 25 pounds. To test this, he randomly select 20 of the plates from the day before he weighed them. All this information is given and keeping in mind this information just now go to the various steps of hypothesis testing. So first step of again the same right null and alternate hypothesis. So what is null hypothesis in this case null hypothesis is H0 mu is equal to 25 pound where m mean weight of all plates and alternate hypothesis is uh, alternate hypothesis H1 or HA mu is not equal to 25. This is the first step. The second step determine appropriate statistical test. Clue to determine appropriate statistical test has already been given in the previous slide. Recall from uh, recall the previous slide. The sample was randomly selection from the population. The sample standard deviation is unknown and sample size is less than 30. These conditions are met. The degree of freedom are n minus 1, 20 minus 1 in this example because sample size is already only 20. So you can apply t test. So formula for t test is here. T is equal to d t degree of freedom is equal to x bar minus mu by a standard deviation by root n.